I'm sure many of you have seen these videos of animals just walking in these strange circles, you know, all over the earth. I've seen quite a couple of them now. And so many people are wondering, you know, is God trying to warn the earth of something that is about to happen, something that is coming? We know that in biblical times with Noah, the animals came two by two, you know, to the ark. And obviously that would have took an act of God. No, no mere man could just do that on his own, you know, to get these animals to move um, in a certain direction, you know, towards the ark. And so uh, the last time, you know, we see animals moving like this, there was destruction, you know, that was coming. The last time God took all the animals and they moved toward the ark, something was coming and that was the flood and judgment. So take a look at these clips real quick. Just looking at these fish and the different animals, I mean, it's happening all over the place. There's a lot of clips of it, and it's just strange. It's odd. But the thing is, God knew it was going to start a conversation, you know. So for whatever reason, you can say whatever you want to say. Like, God knew this conversation was going to come up, and that's what I find most interesting about it. Now, some people, you know, just like with everything else, they might try to come up with some scientific, super smart answer. Right. But the reality is Acts 219 says, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth, signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapors of smoke. Luke 21, 24 says, uh, well, let's start 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the seas, <coughs> excuse me, and the, the seas and the waves roaring. Men's heart failing them for fear and looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall thy see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look upward and lift your heads up for your redemption draweth nigh. All right. So the Bible gives, you know, warnings that there will be signs in the earth and signs in the heaven. There will be strange things that are happening. And when these things begin to happen, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. I've said this over and over again. Many people mock. They say, well, you guys have been saying Jesus is coming for, you know, thousands of years. And But if you look at the times that we're living in, we're so Sodom and Gomorrah. And every time, you know, the world gets very evil and wicked, God was ready to move. Sodom and Gomorrah was so wicked and so evil, you know, in the days of Noah. The Bible says, as in the days of Noah, right? So shall it be, you know, when, when the Son of Man is getting ready to return. The, the world gets so wicked. The way that I always think about it is like the Tower of Babel. You've got these scientists trying to play God. You, they say, oh, you know, well, we can make a man a woman and a woman a man, and we can impregnate a man. And and you know what? There's just so many things that they're trying to do with science. They're too smart for their own good that it's gotten to the point where they're actually playing God. We see that they're putting chips in people, right? Once again, science trying to play God. We'll put a chip in you, you know what I'm saying? With all your information, you can go in this store. It, it's kind of crazy to me that... People see, like, for example, the uh, the Amazon grocery store where you can just go in, throw everything in the cart and leave. And for all of these years, we've been warning about one day getting chipped and the mark of the beast. Like we're literally seeing the beast system be built right in front of us. And now we're seeing this weird thing with these animals going around and we're seeing all the political chaos, the wars, the rumors of wars, you know, Russia and Ukraine. And, and people don't want to believe a lot of people, they, they just under such a strong delusion, <clears throat> they want to believe, you know, oh, we'll just die. And that's it. We're done. No, there is a creator that's in control of this earth. That is a line there to be sign after sign after sign. Just think of it like this, like you're standing in a train station and they got the signs up telling you when the trains are coming. God has given us sign after sign. True, true. Lighten it up. The final train is coming. You better be ready. You better have some oil in your lamps. But before he comes, there's going to be a shaking. There's going to be a great shaking to separate the real from the fake. That gray area where a lot of people have been hiding, God's going to do away with that. He's going to shrink it where you're going to have a choice. Either stand or bow to bell. This stuff is nothing to play with. Y'all be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. Please go stream the music. 
Uh, if you feel like partnering with us, go to www.marcusrogersministries.org. It's greatly appreciated. There's a million things that we're trying to do for the kingdom. Love you all.